Hello, Cougars, it's Mrs. Bellatash, and I am so happy to be back with you. I am so hopeful that maybe in the next few weeks, we might be able to see each other at school. That would be so amazing. Until then, keep working hard, keep doing an amazing job. You guys are superstars. I'm so proud of you. So today, we're gonna start a new unit. And just because we're starting a new unit doesn't mean that we forget everything that we just talked about, right? Everything that we've learned this year, we're gonna to apply to our last unit, which is all about living things. So one of my questions is, where do organisms come from and how do they survive? So an organism is anything that is living. Then the next thing I wanna know is how do all these organisms, there's so many different kinds, continue to exist on Earth? How do they reproduce? How do they survive? How do they live in different environments? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some fruit. So this is a fruit, it's an apple. Would you guys agree that an apple is a fruit? So what are some properties or characteristics of this apple, right? It's red. What other things? Let's see if we can come up with three or four more properties or characteristics of the apple. Great, so it's red, it's got a smooth skin on the outside. It's about the size of my fist. It's not too heavy. When I talk about those things and describe them, those are the properties or characteristics of the apple. Another characteristic of the apple is that it has seeds inside. So I love this little star here, but inside there are some seeds and all fruit contain seeds. So let's take a close look at some seeds. I think you would agree that a pear is a fruit and there are some seeds inside this pear. I have something called a papaya. Let's take a look inside. Oh my gosh. Look at all of the seeds inside the papaya. So I would definitely say that the papaya is a fruit. A pepper. Seeds. So the pepper contains seeds. Mm, and it smells so good. So the pepper is a fruit. Anything that contains seeds is a fruit. I have a cucumber. Has seeds. It's a fruit. I have some okra. Wow, look at all the seeds. Okra is a fruit. Excellent. I have some corn. Each one of these kernels is a seed. Corn is a fruit. I have some peas. Pea pods are the fruit and peas are the seed. I think you're seeing a pattern here. If it contains seeds, it is a fruit. Can you guys please glue this page into your science notebook and it's called comparing seeds. And if you have two fruits at home, you can look at the seeds inside your fruits or you can look at the seeds that I am going to show you. So you're gonna choose two seeds. You're gonna put the name of the fruit, the number of seeds, the characteristics of the seeds, the properties, how would you describe them? And then a drawing or a sample. I don't want you to put glue one of the seeds, just put a drawing of the seed there. The first seed that I want us to look at is a pepper seed. 
And so the name of the fruit is a pepper. This is a red bell pepper. How many seeds does it have? Well, I kind of looked and kind of estimated, right? I'm not looking for an exact number. And I estimate that the seeds that are here and the seeds that are still inside the pepper, it's about 100 seeds. Now, characteristics of the seeds. They are white and flat and round. So they're more like a disc than a ball. They're small, like much smaller than my fingernail. Now, I want you, you to draw a picture of the pepper seed or draw your own seed. Here is another seed. These are the seeds of the papaya. So you can see they look quite a bit different from the pepper seeds. So the name of the fruit is a papaya. Number of seeds. So even though it looks like there's more, they're bigger than the pepper seeds. And I would say there are probably about 100 seeds as well. Some characteristics of them. What do you see? What color? What shape? What size? I would say that they're black or grayish green. They are spherical. And one thing is that they're very, they kind of are glistening. They're very, very moist. And then draw a picture of a papaya seed. All right, cougars, I'm going to take out my bag and we're gonna do a few more things today. So I want you to take out these envelopes. The envelopes have some seeds in them. I want you to take out the two little paper cups and you have a little baggie of soil. Don't worry, I did not buy those baggies. I am reusing baggies. Okay, so the other thing I want you to do is glue this piece of paper in there called the sprouting seed. And I am going to get a bowl. You can get some little bowls like this. And I'm going to put a tissue, but you can put paper towel or anything like that. You can put even cotton balls or a coffee filter at the bottom. I want to put a little bit of paper, something like this, and then I'm gonna add a little water and sell it's moist, a little damp. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some of the seeds in those sprouters. I want us to observe how the seed sprouts. One of the envelopes contains lima beans. Okay, these are white and fairly large, almost about the size of my thumbnail. And they're kind of shaped in like a kidney shape. This is called a lima bean. And I'm going to put two lima beans in the water. You can't see them because they're white. They kind of blend in. Camouflage. I'm gonna make sure they're nice and moist. And so I'm gonna do that with this one. The other envelope, contains these little green seeds. They're called mung bean seeds. And I'm gonna put three or four of them, maybe more than that, maybe five or six, in the second bowl. So I have a bowl of lima beans and a bowl of mung beans. And I want you guys to observe them and draw a picture of what you see every two or three days. I did just a little drawing here. This is the lima bean, that's the mung bean. And I said, both are hard. This is the first day. So make a little re record. And then every two to three days, I want you to observe what happens to your beans. And then we're gonna see what the next step is. Okay, now we're going to plant some of those seeds not the seeds that are wet. We're gonna leave those there. But now I've got my, my little cup and my soil and I'm going to put some soil in my cup 
And I'm leaving a little space because I'm gonna put this seed on top. I'm gonna put another bit of soil in this second cup. So one cup is going to be for lima beans. I'm gonna put the rest of my lima beans. I'm gonna put two lima beans and I'm gonna put it in my cup and I'm gonna put the other in the bowl. And then I'm gonna put the mung beans in the other cup. So I want to have some mung beans planted in the soil and some lima beans planted in the soil like this. And now I'm gonna take some soil and put it on top and cover them up. Now I need to add some water. One of the problems is that these cups have holes in the bottom. So make sure you put them on a saucer or on a bowl, in a bowl. I'm gonna put mine in a little bowl and I'm gonna add some water. But because there are holes in the bottom of the cup, the water is going to go through. And that's a good thing. We want the cups, the soil to be moist, but not waterlogged. So I'm going to add some more water here. And every day you need to add maybe one little spoon of water to keep the soil moist. And we're going to observe what happens with our seeds. Wow, we've done a lot of things so far today. One of the questions we're trying to find out the answer to is, what are all the different organisms that are on Earth and how do they survive? And so today we started learning about plants. And one way that plants survive is by making seeds. That's for their reproduction, so they can make more plants. And seeds are found inside of a fruit. Now, we normally think of fruit as sweet and delicious, but anything that contains seeds is a fruit. Cucumber is a fruit. Green beans are a fruit. Peas and corn, they are fruit. If it contains seeds, it is a fruit. The next thing we're gonna see is what happens when we add water to some seeds. We're going to see the process of germination as the seed starts to wake up and starts to grow. And we also planted some seeds in some soil and this way we'll be able to see the entire life cycle of these two plants. All right. Cougars, you're doing an awesome job. Keep it up. I'm really proud of all of the great work you're doing. I'll see you next week.